Hey, what's up? It's John, and with most of our child themes, you, you may want to edit some CSS every now and then, so I'm going to give you some tips on where and how to do that. Uh, so in, in most of the child themes that I know of that we have, especially the ones that I've made, this custom CSS area here in theme options, this is where you can override um, the, the theme CSS. And so this is where you'll want to type in your CSS, and more than likely it'll override it. Every every now and then you may have to use the, you know, the the important. So let me say, let's say I'm I'm targeting an element here, and I want to you know do font size 24 pixels. Sometimes you might have to add the important deal to override the rule, but usually you shouldn't have to. And where you can go to see the uh, the CSS, you, you can get on, on your server and, and go into your WordPress site, WP Content folder, Themes folder, into the Child Theme folder, and, and the style that CSS will be right in there. So I'll show you an example of that. Let's say this is my server here. Um, so I'll show you on Minima here. So you'd, you know, you'd go into your public folder, and here's all your WordPress stuff. You go into WP Content, Themes, into the, the, the name of our ch whatever child theme you're using, and there's the style sheet right there and so what I always recommend is having another copy of this somewhere on your computer in case like an original version in case something goes wrong another way you can get that is you can go to appearance theme file editor if you have that option uh, depending on the theme that you get they might have a function that turns this off um, but if it, it so if you just if you don't see this here don't worry about it do, do the server route but theme file editor so I've already done that and it's going to give you a heads up like this, and you just say, I understand, and uh, we don't want to edit this CSS, but I just want to select all of it, copy it, and then save it locally. Now, um, I use a, a text or a code program called Nova, where I'd paste the code in here. Actually, I don't know if it got it all. Oh, it did. Okay, great. Um, yeah, so I would I would save you know I would I would paste it in here and save this as you know whatever dot CSS and so now I have a co an original copy of of this and this is where I can go and find the rules that I want to you know that I that I'm going to end up changing here you know um, so let's say I, I I see that my uh, well, let me find a good example here. Okay, this one has like a CTA in the main header. So let's say I want to change that font size and the background color from this red color to something else. So I would just grab this rule right here, copy it, paste it here, get rid of the stuff I'm not going to change. I'm not going to change this color. I'm just going to change the font size and the background color. So I'm going to get rid of everything else. Now I can put my new, new background color in. I can put my new font size in. And this will overwrite the, the, the rule in the style sheet. This has this has uh, is more has more weight than that. Um, if you don't have a coding program like like this one, uh, you can go get. There's a couple free option here. Brackets.io uh, is one, and they have this new Phoenix code editor that just lives in your in your browser. So that's something you could try too, or you can download Brackets and use that. Again, it's free. That's great. I'll show Visual Studio Code. Uh, I prefer I prefer brackets though, or I might try this Phoenix Code Editor. Um, otherwise, you can get a free CodePen account, and you, and uh, I'll log I'll log into mine real quick here. And you can see that it's just uh, when you go to make a new pen, you can just say, you know what, I want this to be HTML only, and you can paste all that that CSS here and just save it and you know and call it you know your website CSS or whatever so it'll be saved online but at least you have a copy of it uh, so yeah so those are the those are the that's what I recommend as far as you know if you if you want to edit the CSS that's what I would do I would I would put your your edits here and I would make a copy of the original version just in just in case anyway just to have it 
So if anything goes wrong, you can go back to this version. All right, that's uh, my recommendations. Now, for most of you, hopefully, you know, uh, you like the colors and everything. You just want to use the theme as is. But there are some features in Divi that Divi doesn't have. And so when we add those and we color them, uh, we have to put those in CSS. So, all right, cheers, y'all.